Good afternoon, my name is Brian Smith and I will be taking you through your 2017 LA Galaxy Guide. Returning LA Galaxy fans have plenty to look forward to in the 2017 season, but they also have a lot to worry about as well. The end of the 2016 campaign had seen the departures of Robbie Keane, the already once departed Landon Donovan, Steven Gerrard, Alan Gordon, Jeff Lorenowitz, Oscar Sordo, and fan favorites of Mike McGee and AJ De La Garza. Additionally, and probably the least shocking to some and the most shocking to others, Bruce Arena has left Los Angeles to go coach the U.S. national team for his second tenure. Interestingly enough, he took the entirety of L.A.'s coaching staff. Needless to say, with the 2017 season rapidly approaching, Los Angeles needed to fill in some gaps and they needed to fill them in very quickly. Taking a new mentality of hiring from within, promoting from the academies, and trying to reduce the amount of money that they're spending to create a quality team, Los Angeles hired a head coach in Kurt Anolfo, who was previously the LA Galaxy 2, Los Dos, head coach in the USL Pro team. Kurt's hiring is a bit of a double-edged sword for fans. Some favor him, some don't. Some love his tenure at Los Dos, others look at his time in MLS as a sign of despair. During his time as a head coach in Major League Soccer, Kurt Anolfo racked up a record of 31 wins, 44 losses, and 25 draws. It's important to note that Kurt Anolfo has only head coached two teams in Major League Soccer, one being the Kansas City Wizards and the other being DC United. Kurt Anolfo was released early by the Kansas City Wizards in 2009 of August. Four months later in December, Curtin and Alpha was hired by DC United to their head coaching position for the 2010 season. Before being sacked early in August of 2010, Curtin and Alpha racked up an impressive record of four wins, 15 losses, and three draws with DC United. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that Los Angeles hired a head coach who had less than a 50% winning percentage as a head coach in Major League Soccer already? What gives? That's a good question, but that's down to LA's new strategy of hiring within. Don't forget, Kurt Anolfo has had a lot of time to grow professionally and personally under Bruce Arena's guidance. In 2014, Kurt Anolfo took over as the head coach of Los Dos. In his first season, he led Los Dos to a 15-6-7 season, which is pretty impressive given his current history. But the question still remains, can Kurt Anolfo coach as the head coach at the MLS level? After all, the MLS level is a little bit higher than the USL Pro. Los Angeles President Chris Klein and new general manager Pete Vaginis believe that Curtin Alfo can in fact head this new LA Galaxy side to their next championship in 2017. And in that confidence that they have with Kurt, part of that is Kurt's new idea of bringing a younger squad into Los Angeles to bring a little more energy onto the field. This will inevitably bring Possibly a different formation, but definitely a different playing style, one that we're not too familiar seeing. The 2016 season had seen an LA side whose average age was 27 and a half, but the starting 11 was averaged at about 29 and a half years old. The 2017 season will see a bench whose average age is about 26 and whose starting 11 is about 28 years old. And to keep that number in perspective, there are just a few people that drive up that number big time. One of which is being Jermaine Jones, who's 35, and then Dan Kennedy, who I believe is 37. So then the question becomes, who is this new team? Why have they become younger? And who the hell are they? And we'll answer these questions too. But before we get to the new players, let's start with designated players. First, Yella Van Dam has finally earned that hard-earned designated player spot in the back line. Yellow Van Dam has been consistent throughout the 2016 season and proved to be a vital piece for the Galaxy strategy in the defense. Up top, we still have Giovanni Dos Santos as our number two DP. And in the midfield, LA Galaxy have decided to look abroad and bring back a designated player in Romain Alessandrini. For those of you that don't already know, Romain is a 27-year-old defender that played in League One for the side Marseille. But now let's get back to the rest of the squad. LA has added Hugo Arellano, an 18-year-old from Norfolk. What? Okay, sorry. Norwalk, California. That's right. Los Angeles has hired a homegrown player. With the LA Galaxy's academy being regarded as one of the best in Major League Soccer, it's pretty apparent why they chose to bring Hugo as a homegrown player into the starting eleven. 
In addition to Hugo, as we've all heard, Los Angeles has also signed Jermaine Jones. Now I know what you're thinking, Jermaine Jones, he's 35 years old, he's a bit on the older side, he's going to be slow, sluggish, blah 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 blah, but remember, this is the same Jermaine Jones that in the 2014 World Cup scored that impressive equalizer outside of the box with pace on the ball against Portugal. During the preseason, Jermaine Jones has already shown some of that drive that he's famous for, and has already shown some of those powerful shots right on the net. Also, a little less known around Major League Soccer, but definitely known within LA Galaxy's close circles, Jack McBean is back from loan. Another signing that LA has made is a guy named Pedro. I'm not even going to pronounce his first name. It's Portuguese, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I go French, Italian, and German. But not too much is known about Pedro. But what we do know is that he is from Portugal, he's a 23-year-old midfielder, and he is the second Portuguese player to ever play for Los Angeles Galaxy. The first one being Abel Xavier from the 2007-2008 to season. Also in LA Galaxy first, they'll be opening up the 2017 campaign with a match against FC Dallas. It's actually kind of impressive that FC Dallas, with their long tenure in Major League Soccer, have actually never opened up a game with LA Galaxy. So in conclusion, the team has become younger. But the coaching staff has also become significantly less experienced. And that has a lot of fans worried. To bring in a new coach that has less than subpar, we're looking at a double bogey record in Major League Soccer. But he also has a lot of time developing players at the lowest dose level. And he also guided them to a pretty successful season. But the question remains, can he do the same with the Los Angeles Galaxy in Major League Soccer? So again, will the talent on the field make up for the lack of experience in the coach? Will Kurt Anolfo silence his critics by showing the training that he's learned under Bruce Arena? Will LA be the first team to six? And will we ever find out where in time is Carmen San Diego? These questions and more to be answered in the 2017 Los Angeles Galaxy Major League Soccer season. Again, my name is Brian Smith. I have recorded this video on behalf of the Major League Soccer Show. Go LA.